Hey there, Comets. I'm back again for another story time. Today's story is My Lucky Day by Keiko Kaza. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, rabbit! Someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. When, he, when the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there is just one thing. What? growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just the thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs, he made a fire, he carried in the water, and finally he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox, now you're the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right sighed the piglet. I will, but... But what? growled the fox. Well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get me more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he baked cookies, and finally he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said the fox, now you're the fattest piglet in the county, so get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet, I will, but... What? 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 shouted the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. I do prefer tender meat. Sounds like someone's mowing their lawn. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled, and he squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. But, the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes, now just a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there?
But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day! When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? You can see the address book here. Fox is crossed out. Coyotes crossed out, but there's still a wolf and a bear left. And that was my lucky day. Well, Comets, I miss you. Hope that you're okay. And I'll see you again for another story time.